Polyneuropathy is a condition in which a person's peripheral nerves are damaged. These are nerves that run throughout your body. Polyneuropathy affects the nerves in your skin, muscles, and organs. When nerves are damaged, they can't send regular signals back to your brain. This condition does not affect the nerves in your brain or spine, however. There are two major categories of polyneuropathy, acute and chronic. Types. Acute polyneuropathy. Acute forms happen when you get the condition suddenly and the symptoms are severe. This type is common when you have an autoimmune reaction or infection causing the nerve damage. A disorder like Guillain-Barre syndrome may be the cause. Acute cases can often be treated successfully in a short time. Chronic polyneuropathy. Chronic forms happen when your symptoms last a long time and can't be treated quickly. This type can be caused by underlying conditions, such as diabetes or kidney failure. There can be many different causes of chronic polyneuropathy. It's not always easy to figure out the cause, and some cases have no clear cause. Symptoms. Symptoms can vary depending on what's causing them. The most common symptoms include random, odd sensations, known as paresthesia, sudden sharp pains, burning or tingling sensations, especially in your feet and hands, known as distal polyneuropathy, feeling extremely sensitive to touch, known as allodynia, numbness, feeling weak in your legs or arms, sometimes due to weak or atrophied muscles, inability to walk straight, leading to stumbling or falling, trouble swallowing, causes. Causes may be idiopathic, acquired, and hereditary. Idiopathic polyneuropathy means that the cause of the nerve damage isn't known. Acquired means the polyneuropathy is caused by an event that happens outside the body, such as a traumatic injury or an infection. It may also be caused by an underlying condition that's not treated well or causing complications, such as a vitamin deficiency, diabetes, or cancer. Hereditary polyneuropathy is passed on to you genetically by one of your parents. These conditions usually cause slow and gradual nerve damage, such as in Chacot Marie tooth disease. Acute forms can happen because of several different causes. These include certain insecticides, autoimmune disorders in which your body attacks the myelin in your nerve cells, such as Guillain Barre syndrome, GBS. Some antibiotics, anticonvulsants, and sedatives. Cancer, especially those that directly affect the nervous system, such as multiple myeloma. Chronic forms are often idiopathic, but they can also have causes such as alcoholism or drinking a lot of alcohol in general. Diabetes and a lack of control over blood sugar levels. Certain heavy metals. Nutritional or vitamin deficiencies especially thiamine or vitamin B12, hypothyroidism, kidney failure, some cancers, including lung cancer. Treatment. Treatment of polyneuropathy depends on the condition that caused it. It can also depend on where in your body you feel symptoms. In some cases, your doctor may give you pain medications to help manage the pain and discomfort from nerve damage. These can include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. Lifestyle changes. Making lifestyle changes may help treat your polyneuropathy. Drinking less alcohol or avoiding certain repetitive tasks can help relieve your symptoms. If a toxin or chemical in your environment is causing your polyneuropathy, your doctor may urge you to find a way to limit your exposure to it. For traumatic injuries. If you're having polyneuropathy after a traumatic injury, your doctor may recommend physical therapy. This can help you regain full control of your body. You can also learn how to manage the nerve pain and sensations that may have been caused by the injury. For autoimmune conditions. If an autoimmune condition is causing your polyneuropathy, your doctor may suggest different treatments or therapies. These can include corticosteroids. Immune globulin injected intravenously, directly into your veins. Plasma exchange, which removes toxins from your blood. For diabetes, 
If diabetes is causing your polyneuropathy, your doctor will likely recommend a treatment plan to help you get your blood sugar levels under control. This type of treatment plan often includes oral medications or self-administered insulin injections. In rare cases of type 1 diabetes, your doctor may suggest a surgery to transplant insulin-producing cells, known as islet cells, from a donor pancreas to help your body produce and release more insulin. This is a significant surgery and will likely only be recommended if all other treatments fail. For cancer, if cancer cells or cancerous tumors are causing your polyneuropathy, your doctor may recommend surgery to remove the cells or tumors. Chemotherapy may help remove tumors or cancerous cells that are putting stress or pressure on your nerves. Risk factors. Your overall health may reveal your risk factors for polyneuropathy. Common risk factors include diabetes mellitus, kidney or liver conditions, autoimmune disorders, alcoholism, infections, including HIV, shingles, and Lyme disease. Using certain parts of your body repetitively, such as for an industrial job, also called repetitive motion injury,